Hãy subscribe cho kênh Tôi là một cái phần của nó. Tôi là một cái phần của nó. Tôi là một cái phần của nó. Tôi là một Vâng. Vậy ạ. Ở Ah, it was this name. Okay, sorry, Ben. Lame is... Kana? Okay, what about Naboring? Adjective, resource, when limb, special, and I'm unable to break. Dull. Make a person and a limb. Somebody's lame with the stone. What is it in Tagalog? Tagalog. Pilay. Pilay? Mapilayan. Ow.
Hai Andy. Good evening. Okay, so oh my god, you're late. Okay, so here Andy, please let us have this. Okay. So please. Okay, so listen Andy and draw the lines. Oh, who do you think the people are? Okay, I will have to. Okay, ready, Andy? Ready? Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. This is an excellent photo, Dad. When did you... I'm oh, sorry, Andy. You take it. It was at a party when I was still at school. It's a very old picture. Where are you? I can't see you here. I'm taking the photo. But there's my best friend, Michael, with his guitar. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Who's that person? You can't see his face. The boy with the torch. That's David. What's he looking for? I can't remember. Perhaps he lost something. Two. One of my teachers is here too, Mrs. Cook. She still is a teacher, Dad. Her first name is Sarah. Yes, Andy? Yes. Andy. Okay, continue. Continue, Andy? Yes. Right, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's taking a photo of the group. Look. She teaches at my school now. Her hair isn't blonde now. It's grey. Three. And who's the girl in the group? You mean the girl in the black tights? I meant the one with curly hair. She's playing the drums. Oh, that's Betty. She still loves playing. Four. There's Helen, too. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. Which one is she? The woman who's saying goodbye. She's already put her coat on. She's thanking the other woman, I think. Yes, she is, I'm sure. Five. And look, Pat's having a great time. The boy in the jeans? Well, he's having a good time too, but I meant his wife. She's the girl in the red dress. They weren't married then, of course. We were all still at school. They're very good at dancing. They still are. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's that person? You can't see his face. The boy with the torch. That's David. What's he looking for? I can't remember. Perhaps he lost something. Two. One of my teachers is here too, Mrs. Cook. She still is a teacher, Dad. Her first name is Sarah, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's taking a photo of the group. Look. She teaches at my school now. Her hair isn't blonde now, it's grey. Three. And who's the girl in the group? You mean the girl in the black tights? I meant the one with curly hair. She's playing the drums. Oh, that's Betty. She still loves playing. Four. There's Helen, too. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. Which one is she? The woman who's saying goodbye. She's already put her coat on. She's thanking the other woman, I think. Yes, she is, I'm sure. 
Five. And look, Pat's having a great time. The boy in the jeans? Well, he's having a good time too, but I meant his wife. She's the girl in the red dress. They weren't married then, of course. We were all still at school. They're very good at dancing. They still are. That is the end of part one. <laughs> okay, Andy. Okay, so let us have this. Let us check first. Oh, I will erase this. Sorry. Okay, first is David is the boy with the torch under the table. Let me see. Oh, okay, this one. David is just rolling under the table. Next, Sarah is the woman taking a photograph. Sarah, okay. Betty is the girl playing drums. Betty. Helen is the woman wearing a coat. Okay, this one. This is Helen. This is not Helen because Helen is wearing a coat. Okay. So, Pap is the girl in the red dress dancing. Yes, this is Pat. She is the dancing girl in the red dress, Andy. Okay, next one, Andy. New lesson about writing competitions. Write a story. Okay, please listen, Andy. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Tom, there's something here in the newspaper about a competition. It looks interesting. What kind of competition is it, Mum? You have to write a story and send it to the newspaper. I could do that. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What do you have to write about? It says, the story is called My Secret Wish. That's difficult. No, it isn't. You want to be a famous footballer. It will be easy for you to write about that, won't it? I can try. And how long must it be? Does it say? Yes, you have to write about 400 words. That's not very much. It's about two pages, isn't it? You usually write about 200 words on a page. And if I win? You get a computer. Great! When do you have to send them the story? You must post it before the 14th of July. Is that enough time? I think so. I've got three weeks. Where must I send it? It says, write your name and address on it, put it in a big envelope, and post it to the newspaper office in Clifton Street. Is that C L I F? T E N. No. C L I F T O N. Okay. Great. I'll begin now. Now listen to part two again. What do you have to write about? It says. The story is called My Secret Wish. That's difficult. No, it isn't. You want to be a famous footballer. It will be easy for you to write about that, won't it? I can try. And how long must it be? Does it say? Yes, you have to write about 400 words. That's not very much. It's about two pages, isn't it? You usually write about 200 words on a page. And if I win? You get a computer. Great! When do you have to send them the story? 
You must post it before the 14th of July. Is that enough time? I think so. I've got three weeks. Where must I send it? It says, write your name and address on it, put it in a big envelope, and post it to the newspaper office in Clifton Street. Is that C L I F T E N? No, C L I F T O N. Okay, great. I'll begin now. That is the end of part two. Okay. Okay, very good. My secret name of story is my secret wish. Okay, number of words. How many, Andy? Oh, wait me. How many number of words there are? Four hundred, Andy. Four hundred. You can win what? A computer. And you send story by? Okay, 14th of July. Very good, Andy boy. Send story to the newspaper office in what street, Andy? Clefton Street. Clefton. Okay, Clefton Street. Okay, yay. Yeah, hey. Okay, next one. One mistake only, Andy. Listen and write a letter in each box. There is one example. Which thing must Alex take to each lesson tomorrow? Part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Which thing must Alex take to each lesson tomorrow? What have we got to bring to school for all the lessons tomorrow, Mr White? Well, the first lesson tomorrow is history, Alex. Please remember to bring a map with you for that lesson. First, we're going to look at some very old maps and then at your new ones. They'll be very different. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What else will we need in the morning? At 10 o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you, if you have some at home. We're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Don't bring a lot. Just a little will be enough. And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know, if you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like... well, <laughs> it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some, but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. Don't ask me any more about this yet. What comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, we'll talk about them. And must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. Now listen to part three again. What else will we need in the morning? At ten o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you, if you have some at home. We're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Don't bring a lot. Just a little will be enough. 
And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know, if you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like... well, <laughs> it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some, but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. Don't ask me any more about this yet. What comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, we'll talk about them. And must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. That is the end of part three. Okay, Andy, do you have the answer or one more? Okay, what is the answer? Okay, one more. One more, Andy, again? Yes. Okay. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Which thing must Alex take to each lesson tomorrow? What have we got to bring to school for all the lessons tomorrow, Mr White? Well, the first lesson tomorrow is history, Alex. Please remember to bring a map with you for that lesson. First, we're going to look at some very old maps and then at your new ones. They'll be very different. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What else will we need in the morning? At 10 o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you, if you have some at home. We're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Don't bring a lot, just a little will be enough. And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know, if you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like... well, <laughs> it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some, but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. Don't ask me any more about this yet. What comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, we'll talk about them. And must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. Now listen to part three again.
What else will we need in the morning? At ten o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you if you have some at home. We're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Don't bring a lot; just a little will be enough. And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know, if you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like, well, <laughs> it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr. White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some, but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. Don't ask me any more about this yet. What comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, we'll talk about them. And must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. That is the end of part three. Hey, answer Andy. Go Andy. Okay, go wait, wait, wait. Okay, I will wait your answer, Andy boy. Go, Andy boy.
Geography. For art and geography. Okay, let us answer. So, history, you listen and write a letter in each back. There is one example. Which thing must Alex take to each lesson tomorrow? Okay, first, history. Okay, letter C. Okay, in the history, Alex will gonna take a map. Next. Okay. Okay, A. In science, Alex will gonna take a ball with, I don't know, a powder maybe. And in, what else? Okay, in music, Alex will gonna take a comb. And in art, Alex will gonna have a chopstick for eating. And geography... Alex will gonna have the leaves. And sports, Alex will gonna have, okay, gonna have, what is this? Ah, points. Okay, very good, Andy. Okay, next, Andy, you listen and check the box where you can find the correct answer. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where did Katie go on her birthday? Did you go to the theater on your birthday, Katie? Yes, Grandfather. And it wasn't boring. It was very interesting. That's good, because you wanted to go to the circus, didn't you? Yes, I did. Or to my favorite restaurant in town. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. How did Katie and her parents get there? Did you go there by train? We couldn't because there was a problem at the station. We had to take a taxi. Oh, they're expensive. Yes, Mom wasn't very happy about that. She wanted to go on the bus. 2. What time did the family arrive at the theater? Did you get to the theater late? No, we got there a long time before it started. And what time was that? Well, it took about half an hour, so we got there at a quarter to eight. It didn't start until a quarter past. Oh. 1 more it's okay okay so we have here now how did katie and her parents get there okay let her see very good what time did the family arrive at the theater and the letter b 7 45. Okay, so this one, please. 3. Which was Katie's favorite actor? Which actor did you like the most? They were all great, but the man who was the pilot was the best, I think. And what about the others? Mom liked his wife best. She was the nurse. Dad's favorite actor was the policeman. 4. Where did Katie sit in the theater? Did you sit between your mom and dad in the theater? I wanted to, but there was a tall man in front, so I didn't sit there. So, who did you sit next to? I sat next to mom and another girl. She's in my class at school. 
Five. What did Katie buy at the theater? And did you buy something nice to bring home with you? Yes, there were some excellent CDs, and there was a book about the theater too. But I didn't buy them. I bought a picture. Why did you buy that? Because it had all the faces of the actors on it. Well, perhaps you can show it to me. I'll go and fetch it. Teacher. Okay, finished. Okay, so here now. Which was Katie's favorite actor? Okay, letter B, the policeman. Okay, three. Where did Katie sit in the theater? Where? Katie sit in the? Okay, here in the middle of? Her mom. And what did Katie buy at the theater? What? Oh, it's the postcard of the mom and the family. Okay. Now, Andy, let us have to do this. Okay. So, I think it's going to have to go for reading. Okay. Okay, so here, please answer the reading activity. You know already what to do. You have to pick what is the correct answer from the questions here, okay? We still have five minutes, Andy. Go, oh, Andy.
Okay, oh, why you don't have answer? If you want to post a letter, you usually have to put this on envelope. And this is a stamp, a little envelope, a little picture. You will post it in the envelope. This comes from trees and people make a lot of things with it. For example, tables, chairs, and shelves. Okay, word. This can take a lot of people from one place to another. You wait at stations. It's train. You use this to draw straight lines. It is made of plastic. It is ruler. You ride on this and you have to use your legs to make it go. That is bicycle. Okay. Okay, Andy. Oh, okay, Andy. So answer this. Okay. Answer. Okay. So Andy. We do not have enough time. Okay, gold. Okay, let us finish. This yellow metal comes from rocks. Okay, very good. It's gold. Okay. So we don't have Andy. Okay, Andy. We do not have enough time, Andy. So on Tuesday, I will add time for you. Okay? Another 45 minutes. Okay? Andy? Andy? Okay? Okay? Okay, bye Andy for now. See you on Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. Okay, see you on Tuesday. Bye.